Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This 15th topic in a series of 28 Bible prophecy topics is offered by Bible Prophecy on the Web. This 15th topic is entitled Four Major Battles After the Sixth Seal. Have pen and paper handy. At the end of this topic, I will provide you with the Bible Prophecy on the Web's web address in order that you can pose any comments, views, questions you may have on the subject. As regards the four major battles after the sixth seal, the first of these four battles will occur at the sixth trumpet. The sixth trumpet is the second woe. This is a spiritual battle that will be fought, which will manifest itself in this world when all nations come against Jerusalem to battle. The last 391 days plus one hour prior to the slaying of the two prophets. The two prophets will be slain at the last hour of battle. At this sixth trumpet battle, one third of heathen are killed, leaving two thirds of their armies remaining alive. The second of these four battles will be the destruction of the great city Babylon. The fall of Mystery Babylon is a plague event. Mystery Babylon comes into remembrance before God to give to her the fierceness of his wrath at the seventh and final plague. Mystery Babylon will fall just prior to the Battle of Armageddon. The third battle of these four battles is the Battle of Armageddon. At the sixth plague, the way is prepared to fight the Battle of Armageddon, and it is the sixth plague angel who gathers the beast and the kings and their armies to the place called Armageddon. But it is not until Babylon is destroyed and the marriage of the Lamb has taken place in heaven, that the actual battle is fought by the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, followed by his armies. The beast and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire directly after the battle of Armageddon. The end of the battle marks the beginning of the millennium. The sanctuary, Israel, is cleansed once the beast and false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. The church throughout all ages are the army of the Lord at the battle of Armageddon. Christ's bride, his wife, will remain upon the earth with the Lord throughout the millennium. Christ's wife, saints of the Most High, will live and reign with Christ. The fourth and final battle is the battle of Gog and Magog. Satan will be loosed out of his prison, the bottomless pit, after the thousand years, the millennium, is finished. Satan will gather the nations from the four quarters of the earth to battle. They will encompass the camp of the immortal saints and the beloved city Jerusalem. Fire rains down from heaven upon them and they are destroyed. I believe that the land of Magog is this earth. Satan is the god of this present evil world. In conclusion, the first battle, the battle occurring at the sixth 
trumpet, the second battle, the destruction of the great city Babylon, and the third battle, the battle of Armageddon, will occur before the millennium. The fourth battle, the battle of Gog and Magog, will occur after the millennium. To conclude this Bible prophecy session, I will now give Bible prophecy on the web's web address. It is http colon backslash backslash groups, that's plural, groups dot yahoo dot com backslash group, that's singular, group, backslash, Bible prophecy. That is one word, capital B for Bible, capital P for prophecy. The moderator of Bible prophecy on the web is the author of the self-study aid, the book of Revelation Explained, published in 1982. The next topic, the 16th topic in this Bible prophecy series, is entitled, The Abomination of Desolation. <laughs>